Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a requested one and the question is purely based on stoichiometry. So when we have these kind of questions, the first thing you're going to do is write down what you're given or what you're told. So basically, uh, in the above experiment, 50 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid was used and it has a concentration of 2.0 uh, moles per decimeters cubed. And then um, they also told us that 6.4 grams of strontium chloride hexahydrate was made, or in other words, str uh, hydrated strontium uh, chloride. So the number of moles of HCl used, we're going to use this simple formula, which is concentration is equal to the number of moles over volume. Or you can just remember as C is equal to N over V. And then from there, you're going to rearrange the formula. So then um, the number of moles would be C times V. So basically, uh, the concentration, which is 2, times the volume, which is 50. But here the problem is, when you're using the volume, it has to be in decimeters cubed. And so that 50, you're going to end up dividing it by 1,000. That's because uh, 1,000 centimeters cubed gives you 1 decimeter cubed. So you divide by 1,000, and so then N would equal to 0 0.1 moles of HCl. Then the next part was to, you know, find out the number of moles of the strontium chloride uh, hexahydrate. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the equation that's given above, the equation that was given to us in part B, and that is shown right there on the screen. And then I'm just going to write it out for you guys first. And then from there, you're going to look at the ratio. So there's two HCLs that are used, right? So you're going to use the coefficient. And then for the strontium chloride hexahydrate, it's only one. You know, of course, when there's nothing, no number written next to the compound, that means it's a one. So the ratio is two to one. So that means whatever you get for the uh, hydrochloric acid, the number of moles for the strontium chloride hexahydrate would be half of that. So 0 0.1 divided by two, or 0 0.1 times half, will give you 0 0.05 moles of strontium chloride hexahydrate. Okay, so for the third part, we're told to find the theoretical yield. So how much, how many grams are we expecting to get? So we, they told us that one mole is 267 grams. So then we found out that in this experiment, we only use 0.05 moles of the strontium chloride hexahydrate. So how many grams is that? We're going to cross multiply. So X times one is X. 267 times 0 0.05, that will give you 13.35 grams. So that's it for the theoretical yield. Now for the fourth part and the last part, that is to find the percentage yield. We're told earlier in the question that we were only able to get 6.4 grams of the strontium chloride hexahydrate. But in um, theory, we were supposed to get 13.35. So what we're going to do is 6.4 divided by 13.35 times 100, and that gives us 47.9%. This is what we ended up actually getting over what we were expected to get. Because usually what you get in theory isn't close to what you're going to get through your experiments. And that is it, you guys, for this um, little question, this little video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.